what is the difference between verification and validation this is very commonly asked question in interviews we use verification and validation both in our project executions and yet many engineers get confused between these two terminologies many engineers use them interchangeably which is not right my name is kevin kutto and in this video we are going to understand the difference between verification and validation crystal clear so without any further delay let's deep dive into this topic let's begin with asking this basic question what is verification verification as per iso 9000 2015 standard is a process which uses objective evidences to confirm that the specified product or service requirements are met so here we are talking about first of all product or process requirements so what are the requirements let's take the example of dining table so dining table will have width length it will have depth it will have height it will have clearance with the chairs it will have certain material it should be designed to carry certain amount of load all these are product requirements for a furniture now once we manufacture the parts of the furniture we have to assemble them and then we have to do inspection or check in order to ensure that dining table is meeting that dimensional requirements or the material requirements that process of confirming these requirements through the inspection through the evidences is called as a verification the verification answers are we building it in a right way and how can we come to know that we are building it in right way or not by checking against the requirement by inspecting against the requirement so that is the basis of verification let's take another example in this example of automobile vehicle we have many requirements to meet for example if the vehicle is suv or it is hatchback or whether it is sedan what are the overall dimensions what is the weight what is the mileage what is the fuel storage capacity what is the engine capacity whether it is manual transmission auto manual transmission or whether it is automatic whether reverse parking camera is there into the product whether we are using anti lock braking system into the vehicle all these are requirements of that particular vehicle now before dispatching this product to our customers we are going to confirm whether our product is meeting those requirements or not and who is going to confirm that most of the times qa engineers or quality assurance engineers are going to do inspection and they are going to confirm that as well as when we go to the showroom to buy this car we are going to do the visual inspections and we are going to check whether this has reverse parking camera or not what is the kind of specifications given into the brochure we are going to confirm all those specifications into the car before even we take this car out for test driving so this process of confirming whether we are meeting the requirements or not through the inspection is called as a verification once we verify the product once we confirm that it is meeting all the requirement the status of the product or service will be called as verified now let's understand some interesting facts about verification verification includes inspection by quality assurance engineers or sometimes by customers also when we go to buy the product to confirm whether the product or service is meeting the specified requirement this verification is done through the inspection and how we are going to do inspection we are going to do inspection through visual checkups by actually visiting the site or actually visiting the product or through alternative calculations and we are going to compare these calculations and actual observations against the engineering drawings or sometimes technical documents such as requirement or specification documents verification is also known as qualification process because we qualify those product requirements through this process it's always done before the validation and it must pass before the validation because if your product is not meeting the requirements then there is no point of going to the testing so first it has to be verified it has to meet all the requirements and then the build product has to be tested further in actual working scenarios so verification has to be done before the validation now let's understand what is validation a validation as per iso 9000 2015 is a process 
which uses again objective evidences. So here in both verification and validation objective evidences or actual evidences are very important. We are not going to just speculate about the results. We are going to verify it or we are going to validate it with the actual objective evidences. It's very important to understand. So in this process, through the objective evidences, we are going to confirm whether the product or service meets defined intended usage or applications. Every product is designed for certain application. For example, dining table supposed to be installed in a dining room and people should be able to comfortably sit on the dining table in that dining space area. And that means our dining table also has to be designed as per those standard dimensions and requirements. If you build a good looking dining table which meets all the drawing requirements, but if it is not fitting into the dining area or whether it is not passing through the door, then we fail into meeting those intended usage or applications. So whatever product we are going to build, it has to sustain, it has to work properly in a normal working conditions where that product is supposed to work. So validation is that process in which we confirm the product or service meets defined intended usage or applications. This answer the question, are we building the right thing? Are we building the right product? And how we'll know that? We'll know that only when we check that product against the final application or the final usage. And we can do that through both simulations as well as we can do that through the testing. For example, in the crash, if car supposed to protect the people who are sitting inside the car, if that is the application into the worst case, then it has to perform that function. Now, how we can check that? We can check that through the testing or crash test, or we can check that through the simulations as well. Once we do this simulation or crash test to confirm whether the mannequin which is sitting inside is protected without any harm, then that means the product will be validated against that application. So that will tell us that yes, we have built the car which will protect our customers who are going to sit inside in the cases of accidents. In the same example of the vehicle, if we have all these requirements to meet as we discussed during verification, after verification is passed, that means after we confirm that all these requirements are met into the car, then we can go for road test drive and we can really check whether rear camera is working or not whether it is giving proper mileage or not pickup or not all this is going to be done in actual working conditions and that's why it is called as a validation we can do that into lab testing like crash test can be done into lab and we can confirm whether it is going to protect the customers sitting inside or not so whether through test drive or lab test we are going to confirm whether the vehicle is meeting all above specified requirements or not and that is called as a validation. Once that validation is done, the status of that product or service is called as a validated. Now let's understand some interesting facts about validation. So validation includes dynamic testing or simulations of product or service to confirm that they meet product application or purpose. Validation confirms product or service performance in actual working conditions or usage conditions. Validation is done through human based testing or computer based simulations by testing or simulation teams. Verification was done by QA team whereas validation is done by testing team or simulation teams. Sometimes we as a customer can also do validation through the test drives. Validation is initiated only after product or service passes verification. So unless product is meeting all the requirements and we confirm that through objective evidences, there is no point in testing that. Now, can there be a situation where product meets verification, but it fails into validation? That means product is meeting all the requirements specified into the drawing or requirement document, but it is failing into the testing. Yes it can happen in real situations. It's quite possible that the product can pass verifications, that means dimensional material requirements, but it can fail into validation. 
Now, in which situation this can happen? This can happen in the situations where we fail to factor out final working conditions while deciding the product requirement. So, when we decided the dimensions, when we decided the material grade, when we decided the clearances, we didn't take into account the actual working condition. We missed those actual working conditions into the field and because of that whatever requirements we targeted the requirement themselves were wrong so product was meeting those requirements but because the requirement themselves were wrong we are now failing into the testing that means we are failing in meeting the customer requirement so when product application or usage conditions are not factored out while finalizing the product or service requirement we can end up into similar kind of situation Sometimes we can do wrong assumptions as well about real working condition. So we assume certain force or loading conditions, but in reality, the loading conditions were a little bit different than we had assumed. In such cases also, we can face the situation where the product might be passing verification, but it is failing into validation. So to summarize, verification is all about to ensure that the product or service is meeting the requirements of the product and validation is all about making sure that product or service is meeting the final usage or application. Product has to pass both verification and validation in order to perform as intended. So hopefully now you are clear about the difference between verification and validations as per ISO 9000 2015 standard and henceforth you are not going to have confusion about these two terminologies and you are not going to use them interchangeably. So thank you for watching this video and you can help me to promote this initiative of learning by subscribing to this YouTube channel.